flexion point is 3 cm anterior to the posterior fontanelle and 6 cm posterior to the anterior fontanelle. This is the point where we have to place the ventus cup. As we know, the, uh, when, the, when we have to try the ventus delivery, we have to shorten the second stage of labor. The indication of the ventus delivery is mainly to shorten the second stage of labor. This shortening of second stage of labor mainly required in the patient with cardiac disease, with the maternal exhaustion, and where the patient is unable to push. So, uh, as I already told you about, the vertex should be occipital anterior position and it should be at the zero, uh, below zero or plus one station. This is the flexion point. You have uh, you need an assistance which will provide the perineal support. This is although this is a larger one according to the skull size, it should be appropriate according to the skull size. Now this ventus cup should be applied over the flexion point and holding it with the middle uh, with the index finger and the thumb and check with the other finger that there should be no maternal tissue between the vaginal wall and the ventus cup. After the application, now you you have to wait. You have to stable the ventus cup with the index finger and with the thumb, and you have to wait for the maternal uterine contraction. With the maternal uterine contraction and with the maternal pushing effort, with the help of the assistants, then you will ask the assistant to provide the support at the perineal area. You you have to uh, apply the you have to start the pressure from the 0.2.8 kg per meter square and you will pull down you will pull down the baby in the downward and forward fashion in the J-shaped manner along the pelvic curve of the uh, along the direction of the pelvic curve. After the delivery of the head of the baby you have delivered the baby at the prominent you can ask your assistant to give the medial lateral episiotomy after the delivery of the head of the baby you have to Deliver the whole of the body of the baby in the normal, initially from anterior shoulder and then posterior shoulder. Then you have delivered the baby and put it on the maternal uh, abdomen and do the early essential newborn care. You have to wait for one to three minutes for the uh, delayed cord clamping. After the cord clamping, you have to deliver. You have to deliver the placenta by the control cord traction. And the most important thing you have to remember is you have to do the active management of third stage of labor at the delivery of interior shoulder, give the five international units intracinon, intramuscular, along with that of delivery of the placenta by the control cord traction. This will decrease the incidence of PPH. After the delivery of the placenta, you have to check for any lacerations. You, uh, you have to check for any lacerations, any tears, if there is no uh, uh, heavy vaginal if there is no vaginal bleeding, no laceration in tears, you have to stitch the episiotomy and there should be an assistant who will do the documentation that need the time of the delivery. After the delivery of the ventus, you have to be uh, very careful about the complication. You have to uh, uh, take, you have to counsel the couple beforehand about the complications. The complication could be regarding the baby, the complication could be intracranial chignon intracranial hemorrhage, subglial hemorrhage but for the maternal sake as I already but uh, on the maternal side there could be the vaginal tears, uh, there could be the cervical tears or patient can uh, go into the PPH. So all this is about uh, not, uh, Ventus uh, delivery. This is the one part of the operative vaginal delivery and this this is this operative vaginal delivery can decrease the incidence of cesarean section markedly so every unit should have this uh, all uh, should learn that every uh, doctor or resident of gynecology or the postgraduate student should learn this skill because this is very important and this can help the students this, this can help to decrease the incidence of the cesarean section thank you so much this is uh, all about this and if you have any question please leave the comment in the comment box i am very really happy to